Um, this we're gonna. I've made a new. We, we start. We did look at trigonometry before. I've relabeled that as trigonometry right for right angle triangles, and I've got rid of some of these things here which, because we're gonna. That was for a specific lesson. Now we're gonna do it. Um, now it's just for advanced for that for all of trigonometry. So looking at advanced trig, then um, we've got the original one for right angle triangles, and I've introduced one for any triangle at all, A, B, C. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you label it, apart from that the little b must be opposite the capital B, little a must be opposite the capital A, the little c must be opposite capital C. And once you do that, then you can then these rules will apply. The little letters represent the lengths, the big letters represent the angles. So the length of this side here, which I pretended is four centimeters, um, is capital is little a, and we're going to say we don't know what capital a is what the angle opposite is. But what I have done is I've given the length of this side cap, uh, little b is three centimeters, and uh, that angle is twenty degrees. So we know b capital B. We know little a. We know capital A. Um, and put them into the Try a formula here. If you want to pause the video and just see your, see my working out. And the main thing to notice is that um, when we get to this point here, sine a is equal to four. Um, it, well, it's equal to all this stuff over on the right hand side. But that's gonna that means this stuff when I put it into my calculator is actually just going to give me sine a. It's not going to give me a. So to do to get a, I have to do the inverse of the sine. Okay. Now, um, the other thing is up here, um, don't confuse this minus one with this minus one because we can have inverse of functions and then we can have things to the power of minus one. All I was doing here was I was saying that, so I, I, subbed, in, I subbed in the values um, for the, so it's, let's just get rid of this bracket here because I did have it on my original video, but then... It went wrong. It just didn't save. So I've subbed in these values into into the sine rule, and then I've um, I've basically rearranged it. So I flipped it upside down because I need sine a to be at the top, so as I can rearrange it and have sine a is equal to that. And then I did the inverse of it, all of that, and you've got you've got this now. Um, so that is how you would get. And that's how you would use a sine rule. Um, so let's just, I'm, I'm going to run out of time pretty soon. But, um, well, if we just tap that into our calculator. So to use the inverse sine, you do, on your scientific calculator, you do shift sine. And in the yellow, at least in my calculator, in yellow, it's got sine to the minus one, which means actually the inverse sine. It's not the same as a power. Um, and then we do, in the brackets, we do 4 sine 20, close the bracket for the sine, and then divide the 4 sine 20 by 3, then close the bracket for the... So it, in, in your calculator, you'll essentially have this bracket as well as the outside bracket. So when I press that, I get 27. And what is that? It's an, it's an angle. So 27 degrees, not quite 27 degrees, but about 27 degrees. Okay, so um, that is advanced trig in a nutshell. I've, hopefully, if we look on the right-hand side, we never know, we might actually have some advanced trigonometry. Um, trigonometry, sine rule, whee, uh, and cosine rule, awesome. So... I'm collecting them from over here. I'm going to get that one. I'm going to get that one. Uh, I'm going to copy it and put them here. And if I zoom in, how much space? What I'm on 107% there, so I probably want to get them, make them just a little bit bigger. Let's line them up. That should be good. Then we'll go 
extract. Oh, I just realized something's going to go wrong. It's going to go underneath. Oops. Well, let me do that again. I un yeah. Extract. Did I do that? I can't remember what I did now. Extract. I think that's okay, cool. Hopefully I haven't extract twice. And delete the original, which is we just need the pages for this. Lock that. And extract. bit longer this time. Delete that. Whoops. And lock that. Now let's just um, shrink this whiteboard just a little bit. Can always make it bigger another time. Yeah, and have a go at it. And we can always do some more work in it next lesson. All right, enjoy.